What is up guys, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this a platformer. So we don't need to do anything to Scratch Cat. We'll just name the, the sprite player. Alright, now make a new sprite, and this will be the level, so name it level. Just make like a little, little short level, just to see what, just, just make a, a little test. Alright, so first things first, we're going to want to duplicate the, scra the Scratch Cat sprite. And we're going to want to fill a red box. Then click send to back. Also make it a different color from the level so you can actually see it. And then we're just going to try and drag it over the sprite. Please don't cover the whiskers because it, I'll just explain it later but just don't. Anyway, here's here's our quick shortcut. If You can either s select it all or hold control and then press A. And then... Hold a shift and click the box. Now you've only selected Scratch Cat and just delete Scratch Cat. Just so you have a blue box. Name it Hit Box. This will be useful later. Name this one Player. Whoops. Alright, now into the code. So let's just try and find a spot where he's not on the ground. There we go. Alright. One green flag clicked. Go to this. Go to this position that you, you selected. Forever. We're gonna do we're gonna make two new variables. X speed. Make sure it's for the sprite only. And Y speed. Ooh, what the Y speed. For the sprite only again. Alright. So set both X speed to zero and set both Y speed to zero. Also just delete the my variable variable. Alright, so. So we're gonna put an and then greater than set this to eight make sure it's one that's like lower than 10 but close to 10 actually whoa, whoa. instead of that we're just going to swap it out for the for this one where that where this the the little point the the pointed end is facing the x speed instead of key space press you're going to do key right arrow pressed we're going to change x speed by 1. We're going to change x, not by 10, but by x speed. So watch this, ready? But, uh, as you can see, Scratch Cat is moving. We might actually have to adjust this hole because I think Scratch Cat might be a little bit too big for the head. Alright, attempt number 2. So, now we know that it works. Alright, so now that we know th that that works... We'll move on to something else. So we're gonna make a new block and name it X Collision, and make sure it run check run without screen refresh. Switch costume to hitbox. So this is gonna switch to this co costume. If touching level, so if it's touching the level, we're going to do an if then else underneath. So in between. So. If touching level, if then else. So we're gonna make an a greater than. So if x speed is greater than zero, that means we're moving to the right. So this way over here, then it's going to set x speed to zero. Repeat until not touching level. Change x by negative one. However, oops, however, you're going to want to change this to one in the in the else part of the block. You also have to, at the very end, switch to player. Alright, now we're going to do X collision, and as you can see, we, uh, it, it worked, but not in the way we might expect. So just experiment with this until he doesn't, okay, as you can see, there we go. Next, we're going to make Y collision. So there we go. All right, so you're gonna want to duplicate this and then put it like in here. Um, so as you can see, so there we go. For Y collision, we're not gonna copy the scripts exactly, except we're gonna switch out every X speed with Y speed like this. All right, there we go. And then change every X for Y. So change Y by negative one. Change Y by one and there we go change y speed by negative one that's our gravity 
change y by y speed y collision and there you go there we go we got a simple game however do you notice something yes scratch cat just keeps going we also need to add a left arrow check which i completely forgot to do all right so make sure this is negative eight and we're going to swap it so then the so then the pointy end is facing the eight negative eight rather um and then switch this to a left arrow and then change x speed by negative one instead of positive one and there we go so now we uh got the moving scripts but do you see anything wrong with this yeah scratch cut s slides so how do we fix this we add another variable and call it touching ground for this right only set touching ground to false then set this to true and then drag this right here if touching ground well we're not gonna put that in but if touching ground equals true then set x speed and we're gonna grab a multiplier to x speed times 0.8 you can experiment with those values but i think 0.8 works best we're gonna drag this a oh, wit whoops i completely forgot and and so we're gonna dra drag in two ands grab both the right arrow pressed and the left arrow pressed make sure to put knots in both of these then drag this under into the ands like that and then drag the if touching ground equals true there so it should be this long that that should that's correct and then just drag this in there we go and as you can see the x speed goes like that but you don't need to worry about that if the right arrow is pressed then set direction to 90 and if the left arrow is pressed then set it to negative 90 and then set rotation style left right and there we go whoops i forgot to refresh the script whoops there we go we're just going to duplicate this if touching ground equals true then set what whoops sorry <laughs> whoops set y speed to 12. i almost forgot and key up arrow pressed all right then drag this into the script there we go we got a jumping script I can jump over the pit of doom and everything's good however we might have to remove this and just to make everything better because well i don't think you just keep moving in the air there's one thing we can't lose if i'm gonna do an equals then fall off the the pit fall into the pit and see what your y is see it's negative 214 so do that set so set that to negative 214 and then grab y position now this should equal true as long as you jumped off here drag this in and you'll simply just do this and then there you go you just add that in and there you go now now you die something better you could add lives set lives to say three for testing and then change lives by negative one all right so now if i jump in the pit look see three and now it's two and now it's one and now it's zero simple way to fix this is if equals zero set this to lives put the lives in there stop all there we go all right so three two one zero now i can't move always show this lives variable because if you don't know how many lives you have that's a little bit cheap we could also have an or here and and then we'll, we can add some spikes, say. Uh, level 2, make it uh, spikes. Also, make sure everything is at 0. Anything that's 
the level is zero zero because well you know if it's not if it's not at the middle aka zero zero then things get weird here's how i draw my spikes hold a shift and then just drag and as you can see it's a perfect square then you're going to want to center this then you click on one of the points you're going to backspace it so now you get like a a triangle but it's not the right triangle so try and line it up with this one right here this one right here see how it's a lot like a triangle yeah so you're gonna add so I'm just gonna add like a spike like right here however when we click the green flag it doesn't do anything that's because we haven't had the tech the touching detector so if touching spikes so then just drag that in there and there you go we can also add like a, a little meow sound there you go so just the hard part is just getting over that spike uh there we go and then there you go but there needs to be levels no poor scratch cat is just trapped at the end if equals now go to the very edge of the screen as you can see it's at the very edge and then x position e equals 272 make sure this is true if it's not okay you can uh <laughs> as you can see it it's technically not 272 so what we can do is is drag that into a floor of to make it 272 then drag this in and then if that's true, then broadcast next screen. All right, then click OK. And then just do the exact same thing here, except without the change lives. And drag that right here. So, when I save next screen, next costume. When green flag clicked. Switch costume to costume one. Do the exact same thing with spikes. So you go, now they're both there as well. However, there's one teeny tiny problem. What? Scratch Cat is not going off the screen. Why is this? Well, the reason is we've only got one costume, so we just need to do another one. All right, and now when we go, now when we do this, there you go, now there's, an, there's another level. Oh my gosh, why didn't it allow me? Yes, as you can, oh my gosh, I just died. Well, I guess this does it for this video. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Ah!